beautiful people this is your girl blue no i'm in the building this time we're gonna do a video where we're doing multiple people right so um i've been paying attention to candace owens on social media and she seems to be uh she seems to have a thing for you for beyonce right now right um and i noticed this uh, maybe like a, a couple of months ago, and but it's continuing. And ever since, Com, you know, Kamala ran and Beyonce endorsed her, and uh, you know, showed up at one of the events that she had. Um, Candace Owens has been on an attack. They said this is from the shade room. Candace Owens calls out Tina Knowles and Beyonce. Says the singer does not remember what it means to be authentic anymore. So here it says Candace Owens isn't done with her comments about Beyonce and Tina Knowles. In a video, Candace said that although she doesn't dislike the woman, the women, she doesn't feel like Beyonce is authentic. Ten years ago, Beyonce and Jay-Z was telling us who to vote for and, and, and it would have mattered. But it just doesn't matter anymore. Actually, it's annoying, she said. Candace continued, if you want to start with being authentic, maybe give us answers about Diddy's parties. Your husband has been close to him. You think we're going to just pass that all by. So it seems like she's trying to loop them into, this is a strategic way. When you read that, it's a it's, she's using the whole Kamala thing. But it's a strategic way to try to loop Beyonce and obviously Jay-Z into the situation with Diddy, right? Uh, King of Cups in reverse. <laughs> That's why I even talked about it. Um, because that represents, you know, Scorpio energy. Um, there, she's trying to loop, you know, she's trying her best to loop that in nine of wands, right? This is putting it all together. She's trying to, she got, she didn't got in a corner and started making some arrangements around or make, trying to take a stance against something. So this is a clever way. If they, this is why Tina knows you don't need to answer anything that she's saying, because at the end of the day, she's trying to, uh, She's fishing and she is trying to pull you into some mess. So when you really pay attention to what she's saying and, and she brought up the whole Diddy situation and your husband's close to him, just because I'm, I could be close to somebody, don't mean I know what they're doing. I'm close as hell with my sister. I don't know what she do every single day. You know, um, just, you know, I go to the dentist and my dentist get, you know, pulled up for fraud or whatever. I don't know what he's doing. Uh, hell, you don't know what your man doing when he walk out the door. At the end of the day, just because I'm cool and friends with somebody don't mean I know everything. And it's not like, you know, at the end of the day, you don't know everything somebody else is doing now. Do they have knowledge? I feel like anybody with good common sense knows that Diddy was into foolishness, right? But um, this is what she's playing at here in this messages. And when you saw that King of Cups that represented a Scorpio person that is already having a tough time, they're in reverse energy, they're experiencing some justice situation, they're, you know, they've been accused of manipulation and being dishonest and et cetera, et cetera. So it looks like she's trying to loop that all in, in my opinion, just based on what she said and just when you saw that card on the back of the hand, all right? So that question really is, why is Candace Owens on the attack for to Beyonce, towards Beyonce, what is really going on? And Mama knows, Tina knows, girl. You barely could put two sentences together. Be quiet, girl. Like you just need to. I mean, you owe it. You, you, my mom's age, but girl, just be quiet. Actually, I think Tina knows is older than my mom. My mom would have been sixty. My mom would have been sixty-seven. Let me see how this lady is. She just always got to respond. Every you don't need to respond to everything somebody. So Tina is like three years younger than my dad. So she's beautiful. Anyway, girl, you don't be resp responding to everything, especially when somebody's trying to bait you. Give me the energy around Candace Owens. What is going on? Why is she on this witch hunt for Beyonce? What is going on with her? Will of Fortune. All right, Candace Owens. Why is she on this witch hunt for Beyonce? Knight of Pentacles. Okay. King of Wands. Okay. What is going on with old Candace Owens? She's just a combative person. Let's start with the fact that she's just a combative person. 
And you know, when she, <laughs> you see this five of swords, that's like ready to get into something with somebody at any point in any time over her views, her opinions, her conspiracies, etc., etc. This is what it talks about. Why is she, that Queen of Cups could signify that she believes that they have their hand in something dealing with Diddy because that Queen of Cups was in reverse, which is perverse energy. And then Knight of Pentacles is also a message around someone being negligent. So again, she looks like she's trying to wrap them into this whole thing with Diddy. Um, you're going to eventually get your karma. This is what she's saying. You're going to eventually get your karma, your come uppins. Child, you could barely take Patrice Colors down from the Black Lives Matter jail. But anyway, <laughs> um, Will of Fortune, like they're going to get it what's coming. What goes around comes around. She definitely feels that she specifically feels Jay-Z has knowledge of what was going on um, with, you know, especially with Jay-Z being closer in the messages. Jay-Z is the king of wands. Not, I feel like he has, you know, some knowledge of like, you know, Diddy's you know, behavior or maybe his personality or things like that. But don't assume this man was involved in everything. Trust me, with a million allegations by now, they would have been pulled him into that. He's the king of wands in a positive position. So he's not involved to the extent that this Candace Owens is trying to say. Um, but she shows up just as a combative person. And her world card in her nine of wands. She's going to be relentless on these attacks. This nine of wands is relentlessness. But she has the world card in reverse, which means it doesn't go anywhere. It's stagnant. She doesn't achieve the goal she wants to achieve. She's not likable. She's wearing a magna, MAGA hat. A lot of people, you know, certain. there's a certain audience for her, right? Everybody doesn't. I, you know, and I don't, there are times I do feel like some of the stuff she's saying, I'm not talking about this particular situation, uh, but I do feel like sometimes some of the stuff she she be saying is true, Like, right? But there are times I feel like she'd be completely off the mark, right? So, so just know she's going to keep trying to go for it. But with that world card in reverse, even though she's going to go for it, that world card in reverse is talking about the what she's trying to do is not going to work because she's she's not going to have enough momentum, enough psh, to push her off the, you know, to push her to, the, you know, to accelerate. Um, and then basically she'll just be spinning her wheels. That nine of wands in reverse is basically being resilient uh, and having a, a, pushing it a little bit. But again, it's, it's coming up as sale, right? This talks about scale. And again, this is an occurrence aspect. So just just know she's going to continue to keep trying to to, to do it. But it's, it's coming up as stale. So she, the, the, I think if she was more... She, she comes off intelligent at times. But then she comes off unhinged at times. Then she comes off like a Karen at times. Then she comes off like she, you know, she's really thought about what she said. Then she comes off as if she, she really comes off with a lot of instability energy, right? It's almost like she's, it's become a point where she's become a shock jock, but as a woman, it just comes off the wrong way, right? Um, but she's going to keep going for it. This is what it shows in her messages. She has the two of cups. And again, the two of cups is to continue to have combat with these people. And then the empress here, again, this talks about you know when you look at that that's like a person who is even though they're trying to do this is going to be blocked energy and then even her six of pentacles what she wants and what she what she's trying to what she wants and what she needs what she's trying to do is not gonna is not right is not gonna but this still represents she's gonna try to dominate she's gonna try to use her platform to do something but it just it won't hit the mark because of who she is and how she comes across Again, it'll be falling on a lot of deaf ears. Now, let's look at the comment section because I found the comment section to be really interesting when I saw this. So, somebody says, she ain't lying. Y'all just don't like her. That's the first comment. Somebody else says, Solange, take her to the elevator, please. Somebody else said, we ride with the at dawn for the beehive. Um, she said, somebody else said, she's right. Beyonce is not a good person and not, not that good. And people keep saying she is. People don't like Candace because she speaks sex and they don't want to hear it. Somebody else said, I hope Beyonce sues her. Candace, worry less about Mama Knowles and worry more about blending that makeup. Pass your jawline, beloved. <laughs> oh, God, Jesus, that was funny. Okay, maintaining. Somebody else wrote, 
Maintaining a reputation of being a hater will never ever be the move. Legacy is essential, beautiful people. Build it with intention and integrity. Amplify the positive and the positive will amplify you. Salute to everyone drinking their water and minding their business. I like that because you know what? Hater, right? She kind of gives... When you read with some of the stuff she's saying, like, you know, um, there's a lady my sister was telling me about that's always on attack for another lady on social media. It comes off like jealousy, right? But she does... Outside of the jealousy, she definitely feels like they have a part in it. Candy wants, Candace wants attention and engagement. I 100% agree with that. When you see that um, Six of Pentacles, that Six of Pentacles is about getting what you want and what you need. The Six of Pentacles is about um, getting monetization. It's about being paid. It's about basically capitalizing on. So Beyonce at this point, even though I feel like there's some, she's going for them. She's using the angle of the the the, the actual election and the Diddy thing, she, this is all an effort to monetize. Again, I mean, she has an audience, but again, it won't take wings like she thinks it will. It won't be, just let me say this, if they do get attacked, it won't be Candace Owens. Candace Owens will not be the catalyst for their, uh, for them to be unraveled, to, to be unraveled. Um... Give me the energy, dear Candace. Somebody wrote, "Wait a minute. If Jay Z has to explain Diddy's party, shouldn't Trump explain Diddy's parties as well as a new, as new as as well as the other numerous sexual escapades that the president has been involved in?" I'm just asking factual a factual question. Fair is fair, right? I agree with that. You know, it's like we we magnify. Trump has actually been convicted. He has charges. But you want to sit down and, and be attacking people that you have no basis, no merit on at all. So that is on Candace Owens. It looks definitely, you know, um, how does Beyonce, how does she feel about it? I know her mama's taking offense to it and, and speaking. How does Beyonce feel about Candace Owens constantly attacking her in the media? Girl, this lady sitting here, on one hand, she's sitting here with her husband, minding her business. Taking care of her kids, living her life, child. Beyonce, you'll see Beyonce taking a picture, and she, and and this is and the thing is is that she's gotten so used to people attack. Her mama takes more offense than she does. She's gotten so used to people trying to attack her and bring her down. Like this talks about. This is no surprise, right? This is what it talks about, and I expect people to do that. Girl, she drinking her milk, continuing to live her life, and going to continue to have great success. And continuing to take different journeys and paths. Like, again, she's not affecting her like that. Mama Knowles is more offended and outraged. And, you know, does Beyonce actually say anything negative about Candace Owens? And, like, you know, I see where she's, like, publicly she's not going to even entertain her. But does she actually, like, have any thoughts, like, negatively about her? Like, she an ignorant, she a B-I-T-C-H of her or anything? Or does Beyonce, again, just simply ignore it? That four of cups is choosing to be happy. Six of pentacles is like, I got other things to worry about. She does see, she does hear it. And she has cursed her name. Girl, fuck you. <laughs> yeah. Okay, period. You know, if Candace Owens keeps going, will she get sued if she tries to make up any lies? Conspiracies. Queen of pentacles. Well, they sent her a cease and desist and she keeps it up. If Candace tells any stories that's not true or perpetuates anything, right? Because she does have the tendency to do it. I can see where she will get into a situation. So she better be careful. Be careful with your words, Candace, because you have the nine of wands here. And that nine of wands represents an obstacle for you, right? And then that way, you know, you'll be, you'll be, you'll be like Tasha K trying to get your get keep your words things of that nature five of wands having to avoid it does show in the message is nine of swords here too be careful i mean it's okay to make your shady comments but it could affect you look you got your star card in reverse right that talks about pulling you down 
So be careful. They got enough money to do it. Um, especially if you try to make up things. Don't make nothing up. Give me the energy. Any other reason why she's attacking these people? What is going on with Candace Owens? Besides what we've already seen. Nine of Cups. Candace is simply just not a nice person, guys. I know she's monetizing this content. That she may have some beliefs that they had some involvement in it. But at the core of it, when you think about like, you know, who she is as a person, she's married with children, well, a child of children. She's just not a happy person. When you see that nine of cups, this is a person who's truly just lacking joy. Like, how do you walk around every day being in that energy, right? There, again, there are things I, I agree with some of the things she says. But there are things I'm like, why is she, why is she even doing this? Just imagine, just take Beyonce out of it for a second. Imagine working on your job. Imagine having a family member. Imagine having a friend that att just attacks and just spews negativity and is always negative. Just imagine how it's funny when it's another person or a celebrity or, you know, we like to pounce on things like that. But just imagine if you had to deal with that person in your job, your workplace every day. Somebody that comes to work looking for the negative, looking to create drama, looking to bring morale down. When you look at that individual and say, are, are you happy? Like, are you good? Like, what is going on? A part of it is her job, right? This is how she makes her money. This is how she monetizes. But uh, she's. this is a person who, when you look at the core of who she is, she's just not a happy person. And at the end of the day, she's just not a good person, right? Like, she's just not a happy person and she's not a good person, right? Also, when you know, when you look on the other side of her hand, she's got the Ten of Cups in reverse too. That Ten of Cups could, in reverse could represent her marriage down the road having failures. So busy, you know, worrying about everybody else's situation. Worry about your household down the road. All right, so that's on Candace Owens and uh, Beyonce. How does Gen Z feel about, like, Candace Owens making all these statements and going nutty? <laughs> she be going nutty to me, y'all. I'm sorry. I really do ignore her a lot of times, though. I'm going to be honest with you. I just, for me, personally, I can only take so much of it. Like, I can only... I can only... I don't care if it's Candace or, you know, you know, um, if you can name any other person that you think that does that. There's only so much of it because it's, it's, it's like dealing with an energy. Um, it's like dealing with an energy vampire. It's like dealing with somebody that like just imagine every day you hearing that you hearing that you hearing it. it it's like unless you enjoy that, it really can affect your mental health. Like it's just really negative. Give me the energy around, you know, Jay-Z feel about Candace Owens seven of cups six of cups okay two of pentacles Ooh. ten of wands he doesn't like it that's for sure and he is prepared to take action against her so when you look at the messages here you can see he definitely has heard it as well. That talks about like what's the purpose of what she's doing. He's very aware she's trying to tie him that six of cups. She's trying to tie him to that situation, right? Um, this two of pentacles can also too can represent somebody that's trying to yo-yo a person in and out of that. Um, she's again that knight of cups here. That was a king of cups early, but the knight of cups is trying to tie him to this treachery, right? Will she be Candace be successful in doing so? It shows a no. But does he like it? Absolutely not, right? Also, to this Ten of Wands, she's back with this Ten of Wands. He feels like she, you know, he feels like she is a, like she's trying to lay a trap too. This is what he thinks too. I just feel like don't and respond to her. Um, you know, she's friends with old good old Kanye West, and Kanye West fell out with Beyonce and Jay Z. So I wouldn't even be surprised if she was on attack on behalf of Kanye too. Um, this, I'm going to make this one video instead of trying to combine it with others. So this will be the second video for the day, which is Candace Owens and uh, Beyonce. I, at the end of the day, I don't know Beyonce enough to know that she's not a good person. I don't know her enough to know if she's not authentic. I know her music and I know that she kind of stays quiet on a lot of topics. I know she supported 
or Barack Obama and Michelle in the past. I know she's, you know, pretty much on the Democratic side. And as a voter, like even for Candace, if she chooses to support Trump and be a part of his his uh, his thing, she is that's her right to do that. And Beyonce has a right to do that. I think it's beyond just the Kamala thing. I think Kamala thing is one thing. That's a the Kamala thing is a way to use this situation to attack them on the other topic with Diddy. I mean, I see people doing it with J Lo too, where they're trying to say, okay, you dated him, so now we're gonna pull you into everything that he got going on. Um, well, if that's gonna be the case, you need to apply that to Kim Porter. You need to apply that to Cassie, even though she got her check. All these people that was dealing with those, babe, the first baby mom, the second baby mom, the third baby mom, fifth baby mom, or whatever. Like, just because people dated somebody doesn't mean they're privy to all the actions. Hell, you could be dating and married to somebody right now. You don't know what their double life is every day. Like, let's be for real, you know? Um, the, you dealing, you you married the man, walk out the door. You don't know what he's doing. If he's going to get a prostitute, or he going you know, shit, put, put something together in the corner. You don't know what the hell somebody going to do. So, um, people have a right to vote for who they want to vote for. People have a right to live the life they want to live as long as they're not hurting anybody. Um, and if Jay-Z is uh, tied to this in any way, eventually it will come out. This has been going on for months, almost a year. Diddy is now in jail. There's, there's nothing but space and opportunity for somebody to pull Jay-Z into it. So if, if there was some something that was truly tangible, um, trust me, it'll it would have come out and will come out. That's all I have to say about it. Um and um other than that guys, this is the end of the road for me. Please like, comment, subscribe, share if you care. Drop your opinion. Whether you like Beyonce or Jay Z or Kansas or not, I don't really have a dog in that fight. I'm gonna be honest with you. I just I'm all about like what's the music. And until I hear some real allegations of something that's really going on, like, like I'm not about to get into the bandwagon and the conspiracy of it all. Um, and then Candace, she, you know, I, she, like I said, she has some good points too. There are times I feel like when she, you know, she's talking about certain, like when she did the Black Lives Matter thing, I totally supported her on that because I felt like Black Lives Matter was taking advantage of people. So I do support her on some of the things she's talking about, but some of the things that she's doing sometimes it feels very calculated. And if it is, it, it, you never see her go on attack. Think about this for a second. You never see her go on attack with black with white people. She's always attacking her own people, and and you have to ask yourself why. And as much as you're wearing a MAGA hat and you're over here, you know, with the flag for Trump, he's not even showing you any sort of face forward you know thank you congratulations we appreciate you anything but you know i have a problem with a black person in media always attacking other black people in media you know just like when gail and oprah they used to feel like they always always attacking men you know candace is getting to the point where it's, it's, she's always trying to attack some black people and i'm like what's that about there's never a time where she's highlighting anything positive there's always something where she's getting into something with people of color. You got to watch that. And then you got to wonder, what life did you live for you to be that way? Like, who hurt you? Like, were you bullied by black people? Were you grow Did you grow up in an environment where you were the, you know, like black, you know, I don't know what's going on. But it's like, it's very, it's very strange to see a black woman, especially of her complexion, to behave like this. And I say that because a lot of times people who you know, have more brown in their skin and a darker complexion, they they, they they experience things in a way that makes them stand up for the culture and the people. And it's like, she over here acting like a whole Karen. I don't know what's going on. Um, and it's not to offend anybody, but it's like, you know, you brown skin, you know, darker brown skin woman, and I'm sure you've experienced, you know, racism, colorism, and instead of her standing up in her blackness and, and, and being and being in that or being just as a woman, like pulling women down, pulling black people down, pulling people of color down. You could say it's about right or wrong, but some of the stuff she be on, I'm going to be honest with you, is real toxic and is very negative. And you have to wonder what's that person's like, why? Why is that person like that? What's going on in their mindset? You know, do they have like, you don't, you know. You see Candace down the road with a mental health issue because she's always, you know, that that ain't nothing but the devil when you do that. 
when you keep opening yourself up to all that negativity behind a coin, behind attention, behind getting popular, behind you going viral, you would not, you're doing nothing but the devil knocking on your door, right? That's all you're doing. Look at, look at Kevin Samuels. All he, he invited nothing but negativity and toxicity and division in the community. He's dead. You know, like it is nothing but the devil. But anyway, guys, take care, stay blessed, encourage and empower. I'll talk to you later. Like, comment, subscribe, share if you care. And don't forget to book your appointment at BlueNolaTarot.com. Peace.